Alright guys, I hope you can hear me. Neighbors got getting our yard mowed, their weed whacking. Got the seats out. Everything else put back in. I'm gonna scrub this carpet, sweep it, scrub it. And then the trunk just needs swept. That divider needs to be put back in and wiped up a little bit. It's dirty as fuck right there. And then we're ready to go. And after all this work, my luck, it'll probably just blow the fuck up and not be worth anything then. Guys, here it is. Pretty much done. I'm gonna go pick up some leather cleaner, clean the seats. I might tan them or stain them or whatever you call it. Got a couple little stains here and there that's underneath the seat. I'll probably scrub that out. There's the dash. There's the center console. There's little pieces in there or the caps that cover the bolts for the seats. I do have that tray that goes in here, like that little ashtray thing. Bends. Scrub the fuck out of these. Spent like a good hour just in this like general area right here. And then two days on the dash and everything else. You guys already seen that. I'm stoked. Shit is fire, man. Took forever to get every little piece of dirt and lease and whatever else out of there. is so sick. Now the next step. After I do the seats today, either spend the rest of the night on this or start tomorrow. Shit is filthy. So the guy, I don't know if I've told you guys this before or not, you see all the dust and shit. He supposed we had this in like his wood shop. Like after work, I guess he like has a hobby, I don't know, mixed chairs or some shit. But you can see those sawdust everywhere like it's just everything so this needs a good day cleaning too so I might start on this tonight after I do the seat see how long it takes me the hood is ridiculous or for my people over in Europe my bonnet everything needs cleaned everything needs scrubbed Pedals are sick. I, didn't, I thought these were caps on there until I started cleaning this out and I got underneath here. It's a solid pedal or solid pedals. Just the gas pedal is different. Maybe this was an originally an automatic car. I don't know. What is that line? Can you see that on camera? Yeah, you can see that. You see that line? I think something dripped down. It's still in there. That thing's stained in there, I guess. Look at this carpet, though. Except for these few stains and cigarette burn holes. I hate this, though. I can't get this out. I don't know. Yeah, you can see it on camera. It's from the seat being up against it. But all right, I'm running the AutoZone, or Advanced Auto, or Rallies. I don't know, they're all right there. I'll just pick one, whichever one's easiest to turn into. I just seen that third spot over there. I'm gonna go try to get that shit. It almost snuck past me. This shit right here is a freaking miracle. 
I will tell you something I learned though. When you buy it in like the gallon jugs, this shit is concentrated. You need to water it down or it just stays there. And then you gotta come, because I learned my lesson, you gotta come back through with like water and wash it off or it's just purple power just sits there and stays on there. Oh my god, see this, I just need to stop because I just keep finding shit. I could literally sit in here for a week. I mean, like that. I gotta get that out. I need carpet cleaner too. Alright, I'm running to go get leather cleaner and carpet cleaner. No, like, leather cleaner is really working from, like, AutoZone or whatever. You gotta, like, get some other shit, I guess. But what I found out is working is I'm spraying the leather cleaner on. I'll show you in this spot right here. There's a spot that I kind of already did. You can see how much cleaner it is than over here. I just, like, massage it in. And then I'm using, like, a magic erase sponge Come on. can you see it yeah you can definitely see that there is not done yet there's done that shit works great look at it you cannot tell me that it's not the best fucking cleaning that like, you could do and not like stain it. Hey, right. I got the seats all clean. Just sitting here watching this dick bag. I'm cleaning the seats. I'm about to put them back in. I think then we're gonna strap it up and just mean this one. I, I really want to stain it just because of that. Let me turn his ass off. I feel like I'm forgetting Thomas. something, but that's why I'm like. Um, I really want to stain this. But the problem is, with tan, if you go too dark, you're fucked. You know what I mean? Like, with black, you just keep, you can just go black. But with like a light tan like this, if you turn this brown, you turn the whole thing brown, and then the, it won't match the car. This is the passenger one, that thing looks great. Um, this one is just from people getting in and out of the car for years. For, what, 25 years. Alright, I'm gonna put them in the car, see you in a second. Alright, here they are out in the sun. You've seen the clip before, or a few clips back. When I was cleaning the seat, you could see where it was light and then filthy. It cleaned up really well. Just figure I'd give you a shot of seeing them out in the sun. I don't really know what to do. They're, they're soaked in that cleaning conditioner shit. I think I'm gonna let them dry in the sun for a second. Hopefully they don't like shrink up or nothing. Hey, I don't know if I showed this or not. I kinda scrubbed the carpet. You can't really see because of that. Because of the fucking dash. It's in the shade. But remember there's a stain right there. And one over here, I got that out. Stain right there. I got that out. There's a couple little stains right there, that underneath the seat. This interior is super fucking clean now, and I'm excited. All right, guys, everything's in. I took it for a drive. I forgot to bring the camera. I didn't give you a cold start or nothing. Sorry about that. Here it is. Seats are in. Passenger seat is sick. The only thing that's wrong with the driver is this side, pretty much. Some cracks here and there, but just from getting in and out. Oh yeah, that uh, little insulation piece I took out. Probably need to put that back in because now I just get a bunch of air that comes up through here, and this jiggles around a lot. So. I'm gonna do that. Then jiggle like that. Alright guys, well I'm probably I'll go for a drive. I'll take you guys with me here in a little bit.
I'm gonna go pick up the car. I guess he's in a semi truck so he can't get in the neighborhood. I mean, at least it's not three o'clock in the morning like the last car I got, but it also is two days fucking late. So, I don't know. I guess his uh, air conditioner went out, so instead of driving straight through, he stopped and got a hotel room. I don't know. You guys will see it in a second. I'm pretty excited. There she is. Just got off the truck. I mean, the interior is like immaculate, like brand new interior. It's gonna definitely need resprayed. Sunroof leaks. And I didn't realize that the paint was as bad as it is. The pictures online make it look a lot better than this. Needs new trim everywhere. This is all I care about, really. The ass end. Because I think I got a big surprise for the front end. I'm not going to say it because I don't know 100% if I'm going to do it. But it's about... Uh, it's about 80% that I'm gonna do it. These lights are the glass lights, the European style. So that's cool. The only thing that sucks about that is that they point to the other side of the road so you kind of blind people when you're driving down the street. But I'm gonna get home. I had to come a couple miles down the street to pick it up. We'll go over it once I get back to the house. The, my battery's gonna die too, so I'll see you at the house. All right, I'm back. The thing is, it's okay. I mean, it scratched up a lot more than I thought. The wheels are cool, the tires are cool. There's something wrong with the front end though, like bad, like, I mean, I'd probably do bushings and anything, everything or anyways, coil lowers, you know, the whole, fucking drill but the fact that i can't just drive it the way it is kind of sucks um i don't know if it's subframe i gotta get underneath there and look i mean it could just be ball joints and um i mean it could be control arm bushings for all i know when the thing drifts great i didn't film it but when i first got it i linked it i linked a couple um figure eights and i uh when I went to like stop, like when I was done and I stopped, you could hear this front tire came all the way back. Sorry, you can't see. This front tire came all the way back and hit the the fender lining. I, I thought it broke something. I got out and everything was fine. So I came home. I was only a couple blocks away. I had my neighbor drive it and slam on the brakes for me. You see this whole wheel just shift in here like this. So... It's fucked up. I got big plans for this anyways. It does the paint doesn't really matter because it's going if I, if I do what I plan on doing to it, it's going to need paint anyways because there's a big chunk of this that's going to be completely different. Part of this car is not even going to be the same car anymore. I don't know. I was just hoping that I could drive it, beat the shit out of it, break it myself before I had to dig into it. But it don't look like that's going to happen. I don't know what's wrong with the clutch. I mean, it just, no matter what, smells like clutch. Like, it's fucked up. Like, it's gone, probably. Um, but that's pretty much it with this. I mean, there's a, a kicker in the back. I'm just trying to think of anything else. I mean, there's an interior. I showed you that when I first picked it up. There's a little tent in there. Thousand watt amp. The six by nine's got an amp on there too. So I mean, the radio sounds good. The head unit's junk. Well, I mean, it's just old. It doesn't have Bluetooth or anything. Which I just tore the whole FD apart because I don't want wires everywhere. I went with black mats on the FD. Tell me what you think. I just I'm a butt hurt for the factory mats that say RX7 down the side of them, and I don't want to ruin them. So, I mean, the, the dash center console and some of the doors black. I figured black floor mats would be all right. Tell me what you think. I, uh, 
put the engine bay clean in a hole because I had to go pick up the S14. And um, that's, that's going to be the end of this video, guys. I was in a really good mood today. I, was, I just, this kind of bummed me out that it's not everything the guy said it was. I thought I was just going to be able to beat the shit out of it the rest of this season. And then this winter, start chopping it up. But it looks like that's not going to happen. So, I'll see you in the next one. Um, I don't know what the next one's going to be. I'm going to try to have it be the VR4. Hopefully put back together. Or at least almost back together. Hopefully moving under its own power is the goal. For the VR4. See you next time. Easy motherfucking E with the chrome to your dome. Cruising in my six four rag top. I got a lot of juice, a lot of fucking block. Now when I hit that switch, I'm bouncing. More bounce to the ounce and I'm